Hello, my name is Alexander Lysenko, and I am the curator here at Station Gallery. I'm joined today uh, by Todd Cremier, a highly esteemed artist, uh, not only within our own region, but also uh, throughout Canada. He has just returned from a residency that he did in France, and uh, it's, it's just a great pleasure to have his works up here at uh, Station Gallery. And uh, I'm hoping we'll, we'll get a little bit of insight onto Todd's working methods and uh, a little bit of background on how he goes about producing his images. Now, uh, Todd, you've, you've shown your works across, uh, across uh, Canada, and um, uh, currently this exhibition uh, is paired with another exhibition at Lachin Gallery. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your experience showing your works here at Station Gallery? Sure. Well, this has been a, a great opportunity to, to bring together mostly recent work related to sort of my thinking about history in museum spaces, but also stretch back into the past so almost 10 years uh, with, with some much older works. And the, the opportunity to show in three rooms, uh, plus another gallery in Stowell called the Latcham Gallery, has really been able to me think about history in terms of uh, historical events, but also sort of my own sort of history of art making, sort of almost a retrospective in some ways. Mm -hmm. So that's worked really well. Uh, tied to this has been a, another project of working with schools, the Durham District School Board, uh, 11 classes coming in, uh, doing a, a lino cut workshop, uh, also some uh, students at Durham College, so a fair number of community outreach projects in that regard. Yeah. And it's been very successful. Uh, we're, we're seated in front of your, your uh, rendition of uh, uh, a painting by the title uh, The Death of, uh, of General Wolf, painted by Benjamin West. And um, many of your works also have this very dramatic uh, uh, mise-en-scene within them. There, there's, there, there's almost a cinematic quality to many of them. Um, and it's been theorized that, that uh, a medium like cinema and movies have inalterably changed the way artists perceive the world. Uh, could you talk a little bit about the role of cinema maybe in your own works, maybe even uh, touch upon some, some films that might sure. have been influenced um, you? I don't really think of myself as a sort of real film buff or anything like that, but I certainly watch lots of films and cumulatively over the years I've seen lots of history films. And even this body of work reaches back to thinking about my experience with, with history or experience with, with war is actually tied to my experience watching film, uh, looking at war photographs and far removed from or distant from um, actual history. Uh, obviously the First World War predates me by several generations now. Um, so movies like All Quiet, Quiet on the Western Front, uh, case in point, uh, black and white uh, classic of the First World War images of that. Uh, another movie called Zulu, uh, the sort of war in Africa in the 1870s, um, saving private Ryan in the Second World War. Thinking about that image of, of war on film and even my knowledge of, of history, sort of our public knowledge of history is heavily influenced by what we're told about through film. Uh, added to the film equation also just still photography. Uh, a lot of my artwork is, is sort of quoting film stills, quoting uh, famous photographs, and in fact I'm painting from my own photographs of, of models which are often referencing themselves, sort of images portrayed in film or movies. Great. Um, now, there's a, a wide range of different types of artwork that you have here at Station Gallery, uh, things ranging from drawings and paintings uh, and uh, more traditional techniques, uh, such as those, but also the sculpture installation. Uh, could you comment a little bit on your uh, on your studio practice? Sure. Um, my studio practice. I'm pretty much in the studio daily on most occasions, and I I like to work in the mornings and certainly in the evenings. Um, usually, I, I have a lot of projects on the go at the same time, and tend to sort of a, a painting on the death of wolf here. It's it's done sort of in sort of concentrated bursts. And then there's a sort of a gestation period of it sitting around for weeks, and then sometimes it gets scraped back. Uh, a case like this one had a sort of heavy scraping and rebuilding uh, modifications, or sometimes discarding of works, editing, and that sort of process. Um, and so a lot of works come to completion about the same time. Mm -hmm. um, 
and I, I tend to work, as you mentioned, between printmaking in terms of etching, engraving, lino cut, uh, drawing, painting, uh, watercolor, and wash are, are relatively new mediums and are quite thoroughly represented in this project with the, the work of the last sort of three, four years. Um, you've just returned, as I mentioned in the intro, from uh, from Europe, and you probably had a, a very good opportunity to see how artists in Europe uh, practice uh, their, their studio uh, production. Uh, how would you say that the differences uh, or similarities are between uh, Canadian artists and, and, let's say, European artists? Uh, I spent a lot of time in, in Germany uh, lo looking at uh, some of the, the Leipzig painters. Uh, Neil Rausch would be the first one to roll off my, my head. Uh, I'm certainly also thinking about Anselm Kiefer, Gerhard Richter, um, some of the big German painters who have sort of taken the history, of, uh, the history painting as the subject for, for inquiry and the sort of theoretical ideas behind what history painting used to be as a new means to make artwork. And, and that's really sort of where this body of work theoretically sort of draws its sort of initial stages of inspiration from. Um, in France, I was doing a lot of work with war museums as I was in uh, London, England. Um, so in those areas, I was looking at uh, various galleries, museums, and just sort of seeing what the, the landscape of painting is in terms of the subject matters, the methodologies of working, uh, the genres. Mm -hmm. and so yeah, it's, it's, I, I fit in somewhere in that, that tradition, I think, and it should uh, be a while to figure out where. Well, certainly uh, your, your practice is, is very diverse and there's, there's uh, multiple approaches to a very similar uh, subject matter. Um, could you speak a little bit about the projects that you'll be working on sure. uh, yeah. now? Well, if we look at this one in the background, then certainly landscape is a theme here. Um, history painting, landscape painting are often sort of on opposites, and I've often been thinking about how they can cross-reference into each other as well. So they're well, the other aspect in, in this exhibition is certainly dioramas, museums, models. So I, I'm really taking those again, those references, reshuffling them, um, and, and building some new works, which I, a little premature to talk about at this point, but um, soon to be released, I hope, or something. Like Sounds that. great. Yeah. Well, well uh, I wish you all the best in your creative endeavors, and it's been great chatting with you. Okay. Uh, you've really given us a great insight into your working methodology. So thank you once again. And uh, Todd's show is on uh, the Station Gallery until February 22nd. Hope you enjoy it. All right, thank you.